Hey everybody, welcome back to the After Hours Gaming League brought to you by Day9 TV. We are watching Microsoft have a, a command... Well, they're on game point right now. They'll have to do is win this next one. They win it all against Workday. Yeah, um, I think we also saw 8-Bit play, and it was a PvP, right? Against, yeah. Um, National Instruments. And I forget so. what he did. I think he had the uh, the Phoenixes. Remember he had the Phoenixes that wouldn't die, and he did so much with them in like a short yeah. amount of time? I think so. I think no, that was, that, was, that was National Instruments player. I think 8-Bit got his, got his butt handed to him by National Instruments. I think he went blank, so um, National Instruments did the Phoenixes to force the blank, and then he also National Instruments had like three or four Immortals. And if, uh, okay. is it Deku? De if Deku watched that VOD, he'd be prepared to do almost yeah. the exact same build against him. Exactly. So... Oh, Alt W and Control W, and Let's here here we are on uh, Vane Research Station and spawning in that bottom position. We have our workday hero. He's got to win this one to keep them in this the series. His name is Deku. And spawning in the top right hand corner and also moving a probe to two gate, we have the blue Protoss. It is Microsoft's eight bit. Yeah. So in the last game. We saw a Masters level Protoss player against a Gold level Zerg player. It was, it, it was okay to watch. I, I like watching this stuff like that in general because it's sort of fun. Uh, but uh, I really hope it doesn't happen in this game. I hope it's just like, you know, this Protoss player being like, all right, I'm going to do what I normally do, this normal timing, and just really try to take it to, just really try to take it to the, the Protoss. But this is this is also PvP, so it's something I rare, I rarely understand. We're gonna have that three stalker harass. Jan, please enlighten it's me. It's a two gate, dude. Just he's gonna build two gates and just, whoa, he's cannon rushing. Never mind. I thought he was gonna two gate. Maybe he'll just cannon contain him, which would take a while. Um, which is kind of good, so um, 8-bit didn't do... There's like two ways of doing this cannon rush. Well, three ways. So one of them is you try to sneak in into their natural and then build a forge there. The other one's how 8-bit's doing it, where his pylons, the energy beam is barely hugging the edge of the ramp. He's going to build a cannon like really close to the wall, and then move the probe up in order to have the vision. And then the third one is you build it like in front oh near God. this green patch and then put the cannon like at the ramp and then have the probe attack the ramp because some people still do the pylon gateway um, cyber core choke and here comes 8-bit gonna set himself up with this um, cannon protecting his pylon and then he's just gonna move in with cannons and then while Deku goes in sees that everything seems weird and this is the moment when you go like what what's happening and you like pull like eight probes and try to stop this and, he's, and he sees it now and he's oh and if it brought in um one more probe so even if this first probe dies all he has to do is keep the other probe alive and now it's pretty much all ogre yeah this so it's not going to be out in time and the cannon protects the cell itself Pulling all of his workers to try to get rid of this cannon so he can have a cyber core for five seconds. It's not going to work out. I mean, he's losing all of his probes right now, basically all of them. Yeah, he's the, so far behind. The way you do this, um, the way I've seen Naniwa do this is if you're getting cannon rush like this, when you notice it this late, so you can do two things. Try to take your nexus, right? So save and retake the natural, which isn't going to do much. Or you can just put another gateway and no uh, gg uh, um, whatever you put another gateway and then just try to take get out two or three stalkers and then go kill them with your stalkers because even um even if you, you kill their base and they still have cannons you can always micro the stalkers around to kill pylons and remove the um, um Remove Ener the cannons. The energy the cannons. regenerate faster on the shields. Mm. And they do. So you can just lose some shields on your stalkers and then recover shields and then attack with the shields again. And eventually you'll end up killing the cannon. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, well now, 
Deku will know how to how to uh, do that. However, he should have scouted around a little bit, even though he it was on game point, and I bet Microsoft probably would have just like in an, in in the normal meta, you would think that they would play uh, not cheesy because they're so far ahead. They're just gonna play it out, you know. Yeah. But eight bit just wanting to end it way early, and Deku not GGing and leaving and being not necessarily happy about it. But yep. Uh, so we want to thank the After Hours Gaming League, Microsoft, and Workday for allowing us to cast their games, and we will be back in just a few hours, actually, doing some more games today yeah, uh, after a little appointment that I have. About three hours? Four hours. Is that daylight saving threw me off. Even though my phone and computer are auto-adjusted, when people pointed out, like, hey, we went back, we went forward an hour, and now I feel like it's noon here, but it's 1 p.m. And, um, no, I was in my van today, and I looked at the clock, and I was like, why is it... And I, I didn't have no idea. I wish there was something more, I guess because I don't go anywhere on the internet, that would tell me such things or, or news-related. I guess it's because it's automatic now. Yeah, like, you look, and you're like, why is it so bright? It's like, only 8 a.m., what the hell? And then <laughs> we're like, just kidding, it's 9 a.m. Like, oh, okay, it's that time of the year when it's going to be really bright at like 5 a.m. and then super dark at 6 p.m. Mm. Right. Uh, thanks everybody and you can follow me at, at Fuel by Metal and you can check out my web store at metal-the-brand.com Yeah. And I guess you can follow me at, at any mortal kid. Um, I don't tweet much except for like about cats and stuff. So. And, and raccoons? Raccoons? Come on! Oh yeah, that's right. And r about raccoons. Raccoons are like my passion. I love that about you. Your passion. Thanks. Is, is raccoons. Like, if you were at a dinner party, so what's your passion, raccoons? Yeah, like, you know how they teach you, um, like, in kindergarten, like, everybody has, like, their favorite animal or favorite dinosaur, and then, like, adults don't really care what your favorite dinosaur is? Like, still people, I still tell people my favorite animal is the raccoon. Yeah. So. Okay, guys, we will see you in a few hours.